Welcome to another journey into the prehistoric world. Today, we're exploring the fascinating world of Dinophilus, a prehistoric predator that roamed the earth millions of years ago. Join me as we uncover the secrets of this formidable feline and learn about its place in the ancient ecosystem. Dinophilus, also known as the Terrible Cat, lived during the Late Miocene to Early Pleistocene epochs, approximately 5 to 1.2 million years ago. These epochs were times of significant climactic changes and evolution for many species, including early humans. Dinophilus belonged to the Macarodontinae subfamily, which includes other saber-toothed cats. It was similar in size to modern big cats like lions and tigers, but had distinct saber-like canine teeth that made it a formidable predator. Dinophilus had a robust body with strong limbs and a powerful build. Its most striking feature were its elongated canines, which were not as long as those of the more famous Smilodon, but were still impressive. These teeth were likely used for precision killing, targeting the soft throat areas of its prey. Its retractable claws and muscular forelimbs suggest that Dinophilus was an ambush predator, relying on stealth and surprise to capture its prey. Its overall anatomy indicates a blend of power and agility, making it a versatile hunter. Fossils of Dinophilus have been found in various parts of the world, including Africa, Europe, Asia, and North America. This wide distribution suggests that Dinophilus was highly adaptable, thriving in diverse environments from dense forests to open plains. Dinophilus likely inhabited regions with abundant prey and sufficient cover for ambushing its targets. This adaptability may have contributed to its widespread presence and long existence through changing climatic conditions. Dinophilus primarily preyed on large herbivores such as early antelope, deer, and possibly young proboscideans. Its hunting strategy involved stalking its prey quietly and then delivering a swift, powerful attack using its strong jaws and sharp canines. Similar to modern big cats like leopards and lions, Dinophilus used its environment to get as close as possible to its prey before striking. However, its saber-like teeth suggest a specialized killing technique focusing on precise fatal bites. Interestingly, Dinophilus coexisted with early humans and hominids like Australopithecus. Some fossil evidence indicates potential interactions with Dinophilus, possibly preying on early humans or competing for the same food sources. This coexistence provides valuable insights into the challenges faced by our ancestors. Bite marks on hominid fossils suggest that Dinophilus may have been a significant threat to early human populations, influencing their behavior and survival strategies. Despite its formidable nature, Dinophilus eventually went extinct around 1.2 million years ago. The reasons for its extinction are not entirely clear, but it likely faced competition from other predators, climate changes, and the evolving strategies of prey animals. The rise of more advanced hominids with improved hunting techniques may have also played a role. Dinophilus was a remarkable predator that played a significant role in its ecosystem. By studying this ancient feline, we gain a deeper understanding of the complex web of life that exists millions of years ago and the evolutionary presence that shaped the world we know today. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the past. I hope you enjoyed learning about Dinophilus and its place in prehistoric history. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more great videos. See you next time!